Hello students, today we are going to discuss the solutions for All India Cash Test Series that is AIATS test number 3 for chemistry. So let's start with question number 46 which says that to which of the following gas mixtures Dalton's law of partial pressure is not applicable. So Dalton's law of partial pressure states that that the total pressure exerted by the gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressure of the individual gases. Suppose I can write the total pressure that is Pt will be equal to the sum of the partial pressure of the individual gases. Suppose there are only two gases in the mixture but the condition is that these two gases should be non-reacting. Because if gases react then partial pressure will change. So let's see the various options now. First we have CO2 and nitrogen. So as you know that nitrogen is an inert gas. So there is no reaction between carbon dioxide and nitrogen. So in this case the Dalton's law partial pressure will be applicable as the gases are non-reacting. Now see the second option we have carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. So also there is no such reaction taking place between these two gases. So in this case also the law will be applicable. Now we have this third option that is SO2 and Cl2. So when these two gases are present, these two gases react to form SO2Cl2. So in this case, the Dalton's law of partial pressure will not be applicable. So this will be our correct answer. Now we have the fourth option Cl2 and carbon dioxide. So also there is no reaction taking place between these two gases. So in this case also law will be applicable. So the only option that we have found out that is option number 3. So moving on to the next one now, we have question number 47 which says that lowest lattice energy will be possessed by. So the lattice energy depends upon the charge on the ions as well as the size of the ion. So lattice energy is directly proportional to charge on ion and inversely proportional to size of ion. Now see the various options. We have MgF2 and we have AlF3. So you can see here in the magnesium fluoride we have magnesium is in plus 2 charge and in AlF3 we have aluminum is in plus 3 charge. So due to the presence of higher charge, the lattice energy will be very high. Now we have NaF and LiF. Now we have plus 1 charge on both the cations as sodium and lithium belong to group 1. Now we have to compare the size of the ion. So jitna kam size hoga, utni zada lattice energy high hogi. Between lithium and sodium, we have the smaller size of lithium and also the lithium plus and F minus ions are of comparable size. So lattice energy will be very high in this so in the case of lithium fluoride. So NaF will be having the lowest lattice energy so due to the lower charge and the higher size of the ion. So option number one will be our correct answer. So moving on to the next one now we have question number 48 which says that which of the following species have sp3 hybridization for the underlined atom. So this is a very good question related to the hybridization. So in the first we have the sulfate ion. So we can draw the structure for the sulfate ion. So we have this structure of the sulfate ion. So you can see here we have 4 bond pairs plus 0 lone pair. So the hybridization will be 
sp3 so this will be our correct option now we have the second species that is ch2 double bond ch ch2 ch2 negative so now you can see here for this carbon we have three bond pairs plus one lone pair due to the negative charge so the hybridization will be sp3 so this is also our correct option now we have the third species ch2 double bond ch ch2 negative but the point here is this negative charge will be involved in the resonance so it is involved in the resonance so we cannot count the lone pair in the hybridization so we have only three bond pairs and zero lone pair so we have the sp2 hybridization and this is a very famous question when the lone pair is involved in the resonance then how can we calculate the hybridization so always check in the organic species whenever the lone pair is involved in the resonance don't count it in the hybridization and when it is not involved in resonance count in the hybridization so this is our incorrect option so option number 4 will be our correct answer that is 1 and 2 are having the sp3 hybridization so option number 4 will be our correct answer so students let's move on to the next one now we have question number 49 which is related to the states of matter so now we have the density of phosphorus vapor at 310 degree celsius and 775 tor as 2.64 gram per decimeter cube the molecular formula of phosphorus is so in this case we have to apply the formula which relates density with the pressure and the temperature of the gas so we have the equation that is pm is equal to drt where p is the pressure m is the molar mass d is the density r is the gas constant and t is the temperature so i hope this is clear to you now we have been given the pressure that is 775 tor so first of all convert this into atmospheric pressure so it will be equal to 775 divided by 760 atm as 760 tor is equal to 1 atm i hope this is clear to you now we have temperature 310 degree celsius so first of all convert this into kelvin so 310 plus 273 it will be equal to 583 kelvin so is question me you have to take care of the units very well now we have the density 2.64 gram per decimeter cube so which is same as 2.64 gram per liter as 1 decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter now apply the formula so substitute all the values in equation 1 and find out the molar mass so the molar mass will be equal to density that is 2.64 gram per liter into the value of r that is 0.082 liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole and into temperature that is 583 kelvin divided by the pressure that is 775 divided by 760 atmosphere so now calculate this you will get the value of molar mass that is 124 gram per mole so this is the molar mass of phosphorus that we have got now we have to calculate the molecular formula of phosphorus so we know that atomic weight of phosphorus is equal to 31 u 
and the molar mass that we have calculated that is 124 so we can calculate the number of atoms in one molecule of phosphorus so it will be equal to 124 that is the molar mass of phosphorus divided by 31 which is the atomic weight so it is equal to 4 so the formula will be p4 so option number 1 will be our correct answer so moving on to the next one now we have question number 50 which is related to the shape of the molecule which says that which of the following has planar shape so in the first option we have n sih3 whole thrice so we can draw the structure for this molecule and that is one lone pair so agar hum structure ko dekhte hain we can see here that it has three bond pair plus one lone pair so the hybridization should be sp3 and it should be pyramidal so but the twist here is silicon belongs to period 3 and nitrogen belongs to period 2 so the silicon will be having the vacant d orbital so now what happens is that so the lone pair present on the nitrogen will be delocalized to the vacant d orbital and there will be a 2 pi 3 d pi back bonding So as a result of the back bonding, the lone pair will not be involved in the hybridization. So we will calculate only three bond pairs in the hybridization. So the hybridization will be sp2 and the shape will be planar. And this is a very famous example and this has been asked many times in the previous examinations and they compare the species with this species that NCH33. So as here carbon does not have a vacant d orbital so no p pi d pi back bonding is possible in this case. So for this molecule the hybridization will be sp3 and the shape will be pyramidal. So always remember this case. Now we have the second option that is if4 negative. So the second we have if4 negative. So we can draw the structure for this. So in this case you can see here 4 bond pairs plus 2 lone pair. So the hybridization will be sp3d2 and the shape will be square planar. So it is also planar in shape. Now we have the third option that is SIF4. So we can draw the structure for SIF4. So in this case we have 4 bond pairs plus 0 lone pair. So the hybridization will be sp3 and the shape will be tetrahedral. So it is not planar in shape. So both 1 and 2 species are planar in shape. So option number 4 will be our correct answer. So moving on to the next one.